Oh, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> I'm just, I just want y'all to know. Well, we do talk about. We're talking about how we'd like to have one of them crumble cookies. Oh, they're, yeah. They're a little expensive, but they're good. Yeah. That's a good treat. That's probably uh, all my points for the week. Which I'm not even keeping up with them at this point, but anyway. Me neither. I ain't doing no good. You and know what, though? I've lost three pounds. I hate you. I don't know how. I'm proud Maybe of you. Maybe I peed it out. I'm proud of you, but I don't like you right I now. I might have peed it out. I used to love you, but I just like you now. I've been drinking more water and stuff, so I probably just peed well, it out. I well, I haven't been getting to drink all my water it's like I should. It's just fluid. It, well, ah, you've been working out, so it might be good. Now... Now I gotta lose three pounds because she lost three Okay, pounds. but anyway, we was just sitting here talking about people in Walmart. Y'all know how y'all see those Walmart videos? The people of Walmart. People of Walmart videos. Mm -hmm. And you liable to see someone's tail. Well, we don't really have to watch the videos. We can, we see we, that We here. can go to the local Walmart we can go, and see either things. Either one. Yeah. yeah, we can mm -hmm. see things. Mm -hmm. um, and you see a lot of people in their pajamas. Uh-huh. Um, are those skin colored leggings that goes up in their crack? It makes it yeah. look like they don't have no pants yeah. on. Yeah, and I'm their scared butts of just those. Like, I love leggings, but I'm scared of the ones that are skin colored. I'm not gonna wear mine out from around here anyway. I'm not gonna wear my leggings out in public. I think I don't have but one pair anyway. Something just that was the, the truck. The hood on the truck popped up by itself. Did it? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I kid you not. The wind hit it and it went. Pfft. Well, it is a Ford. <laughs> No, you didn't. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's a, don't tell nobody I got Ford sit. Is that right? Yeah. It was made in America, wasn't it? And I don't Ford know. Ford Chevy American made? I don't know. I think so. Maybe. We don't know much. Either way, the hood's up on it all the time. Well, anyway, we these people in that. Walmart, they liable to be wearing anything. Like, you know, you liable to see somebody bring their youngin in Walmart around here in the middle of the summer. Little young and just running around in his underdraws. Right. Yeah. I can see kids in their pajamas because we've done that. Are you liable to see some in there? Just yeah. little underdraws. Little, just running yeah, around. that's terrible. Yeah. Nasty faces. Yeah. Uh, underdraws. I, can't, I don't want to deal with that. That's terrible. Well, okay. So I, I remember going into the Dollar General and the kids were probably about nine and 10 and 11, somewhere in that range. And it just picked them up from school, and I go in there to grab some things. And every aisle I went down, I smelt something. Mm -hmm. And me and my kids were like, what is that? I mean, it was bad. I mean, it was bad. Other people in the store were making comments, and it was, like, bad. It smelt like poo-poo and pee-pee and armpits and booty all rolled into it. It didn't just smell like somebody went to the gym. I mean, it was, it was, it was pretty bad. Yeah. Um, and so every aisle, and when we started noticing the people who worked there was going down the aisle spraying Lysol, and we were like, what is that smell? Well, it was a woman. Bless her heart, she was up and down all the aisles. She went through the whole entire store, and it smelled so bad that oh, they were going man. behind her spraying. And I, and I kind of felt sorry for her in a way, but it was so bad. Yeah. It was so bad. What, we went to the back of the store when she went to the front to pay out. Because I had things I had to get, but I couldn't stand it. I, and my kids were like, what is that smell? Because you know how kids are. Yeah. All right, so when we got to the front, I was like, they were, still, they were spraying all kinds of stuff. I said, y'all, what in the world? And they said, well, I said, that lady comes, she lives right up the road. She comes up in here all the time, and most of the time she just stinks. So it was a recurring thing. It, it wasn't was, just a one-time thing. I said she'd been in there several times, and every time she come in, they have to go down the aisles and spray. Oh, gosh, no. Yeah, it was bad. So that don't mean that she was just having a bad day and didn't wash right. her tail. That means she just... But, well, I asked. I was like, well, does she live in a, in a, you know, is she live in a bad house or something? I was like, no, her house is just, a, you know, not a great house, but not a, a bad house, and, and she just... She just smells all the time. So you liable to see some of that down here, too. I mean, but I guess anywhere you go in the country, people might be stinky. Well, it depends on what they're doing for a living, too. I mean, if they're out yeah. working in the garden all day or, what you know, a lot of men, you might can smell or you or just hit the you've just hit the gym and yeah. you've run out the door and you got to run into the food line or the Walmarts to get... Well, I'm going to tell you something that was really sad. So, um, there was a guy that was going to um, a, a local church that we had went to, and he was 
kindly disabled, and uh, he couldn't give himself a bath, but he wanted to go to church. Uh, and um, <clears throat> so that's so sad. Several people took him, you know, back and forth to church, and I want you to know that that preacher at that church told him that he can't come there no more because he was stinking. No. Mm -mm. No. Well, why didn't the preacher just see if there was something he could do to help him? That was my question, too. Like, like, let's sit down and talk about this. If you need somebody to come help you, I'm sure I got members in my church that might will come, you know, help give you a bath or whatever you need. And that was, um, that was wrong, that preaching. And that was wrong. He wasn't able to get up and do nothing. He couldn't and do nobody it. Nobody would give him any, any help, so. And he might have not known how to get the help right away. Maybe, maybe not. Or might have been embarrassed to ask for it. Maybe. I don't know, but it was sad. And, and there's a difference in not being able to and don't. You just yeah, don't. You just don't do it. So, yeah. uh, I don't know. I, I and don't know. we're not all going to smell good all the time. That's the truth. We're going to clean the house. We're going to sweat. We're going to lay out in the sun. We're going to we're gonna work in the yard. We're going to go to the gym. It's just going to happen. Yeah. It's just going to happen. Yeah. So. And don't have your children running around with the poo in their diapers <laughs> and sagging down to their knees and, and, and you ain't changed it. Cause you over there buying a crack rock in the middle of the Walmarts with the duty diaper and <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. I mean, it's just I don't know what brought this up. We were just talking about yeah how things, people yeah things that we've seen. We yeah like good things and bad things, and that to us was a it was mm -hmm. a bad thing. Yeah, when you're a pastor, you are you should be compassion you should have some compassion mm -hmm. that was i was very disappointed in this in this preacher yeah very yeah, I know disappointed because yeah. that should have never they he should have extended oh, and i've heard other things about that pastor too y'all still y'all yeah. hear that shooting we in the country we in the country they uh -huh. shooting on the sunday uh-huh we just you know thinking about stinky people and dirty children and you know you you liable to see anything out here you smell it? Oh, you can't smell. That's my fried potatoes and onions, y'all. <laughs> get some fried potatoes and onions tonight. I love fried. I love oh. fried cabbage too. Oh, fried cabbage is so good. Yeah, fried cabbage, yeah. The Olympic makes really good cabbage, but I don't think it's fried. I think it's boiled or steamed or something. I never chicken got any cabbage. It's good. Olympic. You got to get some. It's good. Okay. It is really good. All right. Ain't no stinkies up there either. I ain't seen none anyway. Oh, Lord. Yeah, if you go to a restaurant and somebody waiting your table's dirty, get up. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. ain't the place for them. That, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I smell them. I wish I could smell. They, it smells good. I lost my sense of smell, but now this lady's thinking I had my sense of smell back then, and uh, it was bad, y'all. I mean, it was gagging. It was bad, bad. It was bad. And we're not trying to talk about nobody. No, we're just talking about I even... Know, I don't know who the lady was. It was just bad. I don't know. I wonder if it's like that in all states, though, and not just a southern thing. Just it that probably people is. People don't... I mean, nobody's going to be 100% when they go out in public. No. All the time. I mean, anyway. not all the time. I mean, I've been down to Dollar General in my pajamas. I ain't oh, gonna me lie. too. Oh, but yes. Throw my hair up in a clip yes. and I'm gone. And my husband don't care. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to wear my pajamas. And he's like, whatever. Come yeah. on. Let's go. Yeah. Now, yeah. mine used to say, you ain't going to wear that, are you? And I'm like, I'm just going to Dollar General. Yeah. Ken Family just, Dollar. Yeah, Ken's just like, whatever. Come on. But now he's just like, see. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ken's a little jealous because he feels like he can't wear his pajamas. Oh, now Lester wouldn't wear his pajamas. Yeah, Lester won't either, but Lester won't. Ken won't either, and that's what I'm saying. He's like, darn, I wish I could wear my pajamas down there. Well, Lester won't even wear his outside. Oh, now Ken will wear them outside in the yard. I mean, it has to be, I mean, it's very, I, maybe three times since we've been here in 10 years that I've seen him go outside with just his pajamas on. Oh, yeah. Like, why you got to get up and put freaking jeans on just to walk outside your back door? Does Lester pee outside? Oh, yeah, all the time. But Ken does too. Yeah. This. That's a good thing about living in the country. Mm -hmm. you, they can pee outside. Yeah. Nobody cares. Yeah. Just pee off porch. And when you potty training a little boy out in the country mm -hmm. and he's got to go and you don't think he's going to make it in there, mm -hmm. you go get over there next to that tree. Well, some of my granddaughters have peed in my yard. Right. When they Girls, were potty too. Training. My, yeah. Ours, too. I mean, if they can't make it, we's. And I even showed Hayden how when she has to pee outside, 
this is how you do it. And she went home and told her mama. Yeah. 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 Well, I had one of mine to pull the potty out in the yard because she wanted to be outside. So she just pulled the little potty out in the yard and feeding the <laughs> and sat down on it and feed in the yard. Hayden's done that. We in the country, so. Yeah, well, she's outside playing. They're playing in the pool or something. And Destiny's got the little potty out there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she says, don't pee in the pool. Let me know when you got to go. Mm -hmm. And Hayden will Why, out. Destiny? You're in a pool. <laughs> Let her pee in the pool, Destiny. You remember when you told uh, Trenton that you didn't wash your feet when he was little and he told everybody? <laughs> she was <laughs> picking on Trenton one day and he said something. We were talking about get in there and scrub your feet and everything in the... And Lisa said, well, you don't have to scrub your, I don't scrub my feet. I just let the water run over him. And he told, he he told went, everybody. Everywhere he went, he told everybody that his mama didn't wash her feet. <laughs> and then we had this whole thing about feet washing. Yeah. <laughs> well, and the churches around here, they do foot washing. Yeah. Uh, the, the, some that, of the churches have Was foot. that uh, Wilson Primitive Baptist? Yeah, they, they do foot washing. Yeah. Oh, my they gosh. Do I don't know how the they had churches. time because that, them songs they sung just drug on forever. They're, yeah, I really wish they'd get a little musical instrument in there, but they don't. It took so long. But I'm so used to it from where I grew up in it. it I, I mean, I'm so used I to wouldn't. it. But now, you know, now that I've been to churches where there is really good musical instruments and stuff, I prefer it. Yeah. But as far as the preaching goes, I can go either way. Yeah. But as far as the singing goes, I prefer a little uh, uh, instrument. Upbeat. Let's yeah. get some upbeat let's get stuff. A, let's get a little music or an instrument with it. Piano, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and so I remember telling <clears throat> telling Spanky about the orphan off. Do you remember the orphan off? <sighs> we took them to. We would take them to a park, and across from the park there was this big abandoned looking house it wasn't abandoned but it was just a big two-story house and i would oh. tell him it was an orphanage and if he didn't act like he had mm. some sense that's where he's going that's where he's going and he couldn't pronounce orphanage so he'd say orphan that's you where take the him into the orphan yeah yeah if you keep being bad now you're going to live into the, the orphan <laughs> yeah <laughs> her mama used to tell her that if she told lies the devil was going to come out from under the bed and and poke her in the eyeballs with a pitchfork while she was trying to sleep. <laughs> I don't know how we don't have mental issues. And I ended up telling one of my kids that Did one time, you? and they were like, Mama! Oh, gosh, no! Mama, that ain't true. I'm like, well, you tell lies, and you go see. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> well, I remember, uh, like, laying in bed, and you couldn't go to sleep at night, and I'd be hollering in there going, Hey, can you bring me some water? I want yes. some water. And we all the kids try that. Oh, yeah. I'm and thirsty. I want a drink of water. I'm thirsty. And my daddy would reach over and scratch on the wall. he go, that booger man's coming after you if you don't shut up. <laughs> Did you believe him? Hell yeah, I believe him. That booger man was going to get her. I thought there was a booger man in them walls. <laughs> I thought I had to lay there and be still and shut up. So go to sleep. I never tried that one before. <laughs> It works. <laughs> yeah, it worked. The, them kids coming there with, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I can't sleep, I gotta pee. Can I get in the bed with you? Can, yeah, I can't go to sleep, I need to get in the bed with you. It's all kinds of things. Yeah. Uh, and, we, and then another thing, too, and we just had this conversation with Destiny the other night. <laughs> so she, her child dropped something on the floor, and it was a cookie. She picks it up and puts it in her mouth, and then she looks at her child and goes... <laughs> Now you're going to die. <laughs> Hayden, why are you eating nasty things off the floor? <laughs> so, so. And Hayden's just like, ah! But when we were growing up, I guess it's just a Gen X thing, we were told a lot that we were going to die. Was yeah. you told a lot that you were going to die? Um, I, was told, I was told certain things would, would kill you or make you die. Like eating food off the floor, or don't put um, anything in a pot in a refrigerator because if it's if, if food set in a pot, it was in a metal pot. It was in a metal you pot. You get poisoned and, and you're you gonna die. die. Uh huh. Don't leave your fork in any kind of bowl for a long period of time. Are you gonna die? Gonna die. <laughs> my mama said, "Listen, my mama said, <laughs> if you run out in that road." And you get hit by the car, you're going to be dead. And we're going to have to dig a hole <laughs> and put you in it. <laughs> and you ain't never going to see us again. Now stay away from that road. <laughs> and my mama's thing was, 
you sit down during a thunderstorm when it's lightning because if not if you running around this house or you get close to a window or door you're gonna get struck by lightning and you're gonna, gonna die, die. <laughs> okay here's the thing i didn't know that <laughs> telling these children and grandchildren <laughs> that they were gonna die was a bad thing <laughs> until my daughter-in-law come along and <laughs> And my mama was still telling my kids, don't you go out there with no shoes on, you're going to get sick and die. <laughs> don't you go out the door with no wet head, you're going to get sick and die. I heard that about wet hair. You're going to get pneumonia and die. So at Christmas time, their neighbor brought them some, brought all little kids some candy over there. Each of them <laughs> had a bag of candy. And my mama comes in and she goes, why is these youngins sitting here, all of them got a bag of candy just chomping it down truth is my mama probably really wanted some of that she candy. wanted some and she said she tells them y'all gonna sit there and eat so much candy you gonna get sick and die <laughs> you think that's why we can laugh about all that now though because we, we proved it. it wrong <laughs> we lived through it we proved it wrong <laughs> i and i i don't know i think i'm sure that we told our kids that because <laughs> It never phased Cameron for the longest time. Uh, none of us were phased by it. Yeah, but now it's like my mom and daddy have said it so much, I think it's just got on my daughter-in-law's nerves, and she's like, I'm tired of her telling my kids they're going to die all the time. It's making them tough. It's making them tough. That's how we were raised, though. Mm -hmm. No matter what you did, you were going to. And if you were going to die, like, if you, hold on, if you leave stuff in a metal pot, mm hmm and you're gonna die if you eat that. I'd be dead because I leave spaghetti in the pot all the time right. and stick it in the fridge. How did we drink out of the water hoses? Oh, all the time. All the time. That water, the water from hose. the water hose, it tastes you know, like it's gotta rubber be some rust in there. and rust and... We but, made it. Yeah, you just drinking that, you just holding that water hose and that water's just squirting and you just drinking it. <laughs> we made it, y'all. We did make it. I don't know, I don't... You gonna die. You gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> we were told a lot of stuff growing I, up. I was confused about why lightning would get me if I moved around. Could it? So, so what I was always told was if you're in front of a window, mm -hmm. then you would draw that lightning in the window. Yeah, yes. That, that now, but now also she wouldn't let us jump around and play. Well, no, no. Now we had to sit down and mm -hmm. be still and unplug Away everything. Away from the window and the door. Away from the window and the door. And then mm -hmm. you had to unplug everything because, you know, lightning could come, run in. Lightning yeah. might run kill in you on you and kill you. It's going to kill, kill you. Kill you D-E-D. -E -D. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, that's the way it was. We had to sit down and be mm -hmm. still like we were, had to be scared of that thunderstorm. Yes. Mm -hmm. like, it, like the thunderstorm knew... If Sherry's up running around acting crazy, I'm coming there for she her. Is. I'm, I'm coming for her. Is, I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her because she, I'm gonna get she her. won't shut up and sit down and be still. And, you know, I think my mama still, when a thunder, bad thunderstorm comes up, she gets somewhere and, and huddles up, you know, mm -hmm. with a blanket and a mm -hmm. book, and she don't be running around the house. Yeah, my mom and daddy do, too. Mm -hmm. Now, I will, I, it, I don't know, it didn't phase me. I'll go outside in a thunderstorm. I love it. I love thunderstorms. I love it when I can sit on a covered porch and oh, watch yeah. it. Oh, yeah. But yeah. now I won't just, I don't want to be just hanging out outside. Well, I mean, I got to go outside and see it. And yeah, then yeah. When my I, mama, I, mean, I do want to see it, but I won't hang out. When my mom and daddy find out that I do that, they go, why would you do that? Are you crazy? You're going to be messing around and die. Well, that's like when they you say there's a tornado lightning. coming and instead of taking shelter, a lot of people, they go looking for it. <laughs> Storm you get, chasers. You get a tornado warning in your area and you get, you go outside. I have to do that. I have to see if I see it. Me too. Which we had a tornado uh, here about 20 years ago. Well, in in Rockingham County, yeah. we had a tornado about 20 years ago, and that was very scary. Oh. That was a very, mm -hmm. and we saw it. Did you see it? I did not I saw see it. it, but I remember all the bad clouds I could see back that way, and it was really dark, and I think there was like some hail, and the wind was whipping, but I never actually seen no funnel. Just really scary looking clouds it was scary i i saw it and we uh had to turn and go back the other direction it tore up some of stoneville and some of Man and, and the school it, got knocked down it took down my elementary lots of school stuff in stoneville got knocked down yeah we're coming up on the anniversary some people got killed yeah they did some people got two, killed. two people got killed yeah so <clears throat> i mean i guess there's some 
kind of some truth to what they say. Mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, nothing they've ever told me I've mm -hmm. ever right from. Right, right, right. And right, I do right. believe sometimes you have to warn your children and grandchildren that if well, you do at, that. At this point, our children and grandchildren are not phased by that you going to die thing. They're not. They're well, just they'll... like, she's full of it. <laughs> they be laughing. Like, when Hayden picked that, I remember she dropped that cheese in the floor too, and Destiny screamed, don't eat that cheese. And as soon as she did, Hayden grabbed it real fast and ate it. <laughs> Didn't matter to her. Uh, no, she laughed. It was tainted cheese, but it was all right. And hey, she, she's still alive, right? She's still alive. Yeah, so we good. Well, she was going in that kitchen getting cookie after cookie from her daddy. Yeah, yeah. And her mama kept going, where are you getting all these cookies? <laughs> her daddy was giving them to her. Yeah. And he, that's what he was do. laughing. That's what daddies do. That's what they do. Uh -huh. They spoil them little girls. Uh -huh. She wanted her cookie. She wanted another cookie and another cookie and some cheese. And, and she ate all the strawberries out of the fruit thing. And she wanted them. And so she ate. But she ate them. Yeah. And she, she was fine. <laughs> you know what we should have said? Back when we was little and our parents talked about us dying, we should when, when it was time to get whoopings, we should have said, Don't whoop me, I'm going to die. <laughs> Don't whoop Don't me, whoop I'm, I'm going to die. die. Yeah, you, our parents told us all kinds of stuff growing up. Oh, yeah. All kinds of wives tell well, us stuff. Well, today I woke Hayden up from her nap, and, and uh, I went in there. I could hear her moving around, and I opened the door, and she goes, Mima! And she jumped up, and I grabbed her out of the bed, and she hugged me real tight, and she goes, Mima, Mima, I was chasing a mouse. She was dreaming. Dreaming. I was chasing a mouse, and it was hanging off the table in the kitchen. And she's, she's three. She, it was hanging off the table in the kitchen, and there were spiders around her. And I was like, you're kidding me. And she's like, no, it was spiders everywhere. And I said, do you think you dreamed it? And she's like, no. And we, I got I, I, I got her. Uh, she had to get her little britches back on because she'd been taking a nap, and she didn't have her uh, britches on. She had her just a little pull-up on. And um, so we go in the kitchen, and she looks at that table, and she goes, well, I don't see no mouse. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I think you might have been dreaming. And she was like, okay. <laughs> what you been letting her watch? She don't, she's been watching Cinderella with them little mice that run That's around. That's what it is. Uh, Gus Gus and the other ones, and they talk, and she yep. loves it. Well, okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Don't be watching them scary movies. You're going to have nightmares. <laughs> you're going ha to you have nightmares. you have nightmares. You ain't going to sleep scary. a bit. You won't sleep yeah. a wink. You ain't going to sleep a wink. You she gonna... slept through it, though. <laughs> I, I never watched a lot of scary movies until I mm -mm. got just a little older. Mm -mm. I, did, I, like, I watched all the saws, and that didn't bother me, but all this other junk, no, I ain't. Oh, and if we was watching a movie and a scene come up where two people was making out or... Doing Close stuff. your eyes. Close your eyes. Turn your head. Close your eyes. Why are you letting her watch this? Now, y'all know. Y'all need to be watching this. We close our out. eyes like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we closed our yeah. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking. In case y'all need to see, I got two pair of glasses on. Reading glasses and sunglasses. Because <laughs> the sun was a shining down on us here. <laughs> so, that's how it rolls. Uh, but yeah, close your eyes was like this. Yeah. You'd like you'd hold your hands like you really was not looking, but you could see. Yeah. You could see them naked bodies and like that we kissing. didn't know. Yes. And when they, and they'd leave you home by yourself, uh, when you got about 10, 11, 12 years old, mm -hmm. and they'd go to the grocery store, you'd go through everything in that house. Oh, I was pilfering. I was ransacking I it. I pilfered through them drawers. I got up in that cabinet and found like a bottle of liquor that daddy had hid <laughs> <laughs> up in that tall cabinet up above the refrigerator yeah. that we didn't use for nothing. Uh-huh. Yeah. You thought something crazy, didn't you? Uh, well, I, I had Daddy's to, a drunk. I had to know what was in there. Yeah. I never drunk none or nothing, but I had to know. Well, I'll tell you what I did. I'd climb up to the medicine cabinet and I would get out the baby aspirin and I'd eat one or two. <laughs> I would eat the vitamins. <laughs> Cherry baby aspirin were so good. They were good. They were good. They were good, and the Flintstones were good. Flintstone vitamins were good. Okay, and do y'all remember when everybody had the big satellites out in the yard, and when you turned the channel, oh, yes. the satellite would go click, 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 click. 
Yeah. Okay, well, it, when you were in the house using that thing to turn the channel, you remember when it would go through the channels, the channel would show up just for a second, yeah. real fuzzy. Yeah. Well, it would go past the porn channels. Oh, yeah. And you'd see. <laughs> But it was fuzzy, and you and you'd be confused. You'd be like, like, what is Wait that? a minute. Why is that fuzzy like that? Right. Yeah. And your parents really wouldn't say nothing. They just hoped it would go past it fast enough where you didn't notice what it was. <laughs> and it was the same way in hotels. Yeah. When you go to a hotel, you get to one of them channels, and it'd be fuzzy too. Yeah, because it would be moving. the The satellite would be moving, so it would just give you a little <laughs> second of each little and uh -huh. you'd see crazy stuff <laughs> boy they thought we were really dumb didn't they <laughs> they really thought these children are dumb oh, golly <laughs> and you know and you know what i never when they left me home by myself i never tried to put one of them porn channels on i never thought about it i was too busy turning the stereo on that's what i used to do is the music open. wide open wide music. open and the neighbors called I, me out yes on. and mine did too and i because i love the music and i'd go in the refrigerator and and find something to eat mm -hmm. and then pilfer yeah pilfer you pilfer just pilfer through uh -huh. all their drawers and their drawers their and, closets yeah and have to try to get everything put back because you never Ex knew when they were coming exactly home. the way it was and you know i don't pilfer really no more i don't care for pilfering i don't i don't there's nothing to i don't seen it all we've now. seen it all no matter uh-huh but now my grandchildren they love to pilfer my grandchildren like to pilfer and my children like to pilfer at my uh -huh. at my parents house they okay used to like to, Ramsatch everything is what my daddy would ram say. They ram ram ramsatching everything. <laughs> <laughs> now I will. My friend at work did tell me that when his parents would leave home, him and his brothers would go put it on the porn channel because they had seen it going through, and then they'd go back to it and see what it was. Oh yeah, curiosity. And he said they would just laugh and laugh. You know, they're like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And they, he said they thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Curiosity. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. And now, and they'd hear their parents coming up, mm -hmm. and they'd change it real fast. <laughs> so he said every time their mama and daddy would pull up the driveway, they'd see that satellite moving. <laughs> <laughs> because they were trying to change, change it. Change it. Change it. Before mom and daddy got in the house. And he said he figures they probably knew exactly what they were doing. Probably. Three brothers. Oh, so yeah. they probably knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah. But... They never said nothing. Never <laughs> called them out on it. <laughs> we had wild childhoods. Now a, a kid can pick up a phone and just look at the phone, and they going look I mean, at. They it. didn't have to wait for that they fuzziness can, to go by. They can Google anything. Yeah. I don't think they should be able to. We shouldn't have that. We shouldn't. There should be parental locks on everything. The government. Should our so-called government us, help should us have locks some on of that. that kind of stuff. Have some restrictions on it, maybe. And uh, not only that, but um, shootings and guns and where you can buy. I love guns. Don't get me wrong, but I, love, I don't think a twelve-year-old boy who may not be living in a stable home should be able to so access. Uh, yeah, access. Yeah, but I think that know, should be his parents' right. Yeah. Yeah, parents lock them things up. Yeah, lock them guns up. Keep them guns. Keep and a lot them. of local police departments give away give the locks you. Yeah. that you put through the guns and yeah. lock them up so that they can't be loaded or shot. Because if your child does something with that gun, you are liable. Yeah, they're coming for you. They're coming for they're you coming because for you. you didn't have that gun locked up. Didn't have it locked up. Didn't have locks on it. You didn't take precautions. So. I, I believe. You know, every child should know how to shoot a gun and protect herself or just mm -hmm. go out and target practice or whatever. But mm -hmm. we have to have gun safety mm -hmm. when it comes to stuff like that. So. Right. Exactly. And I don't know, when we were growing up, there was, I mean, I didn't even know there was a gun in the house. Let's see. I did know. We had, we had, my daddy hunted, so we had a gun That's cabinet yeah. with the guns in it. Mm -hmm. So he had his, pis not pistols, but rifles and shotguns in mm -hmm. there. But it was a gun cabinet. Yeah. So. I never knew. Our yeah. parents, our parents could keep really good secrets, too. Mm hmm I mean. They hide stuff. They would hide everything. Mm hmm Christmas. Mm hmm Guns. Well, I'd find the Christmas. I'd pilfer. <laughs> well, my mom and daddy didn't keep it in the house. They kept it in the car shed or out granny. Well, my mom and daddy one year was crazy enough to just put it in black trash bags and put it in their bedroom. They was tired that year. And they throw didn't a blanket like over. You gonna throw it in black trash bags and throw a blanket over it? Now you know I'm gonna look at it. Well, you know, speaking of that, 
You know that year we went to Kmart and we got all that stuff on clearance that time? Mm -hmm. We got gobs of stuff, y'all, on clearance. We would hit the Kmart every morning after we took him kids mm -hmm. to school. Yeah. And I, we lived in the trailer park. Mm -hmm. I didn't have nowhere to put all that stuff, so I put it in my closet in the bedroom with a blanket over it. And Cameron goes in there and pulls that blanket back and finds every all freaking toys. bit of it. Mm -hmm. Every bit of mm -hmm. it. So he knew the, he knew the no then. I'm he gonna, knew. I'm going to beat you in the next week. Ooh, I was so mad. It wasn't his fault, I don't guess. Maybe I had asked him to go in there. Maybe he was pilfering. I don't know. But He's probably pilfering. He probably was. He's he's nosy like mm -hmm. that. He was nosy like that. But, yeah, I was so upset. And I was like, you better not tell your, your sister. You better not open your mouth. Yes. And I know when you tell him not to say something. He's going to. Oh, he itches. He's got the that's itch. That's Rhiannon. He wants to tell it. Now, that's Rhiannon. But Destiny, she can keep a secret. Can't, a charity can keep a secret. Cameron's got bad. Well, now he can keep a secret if something he's done. He don't want you to know. Oh yeah, and Rhiannon can do that. Yeah. <laughs> but if, <laughs> but if it's something that <laughs> that somebody else might know or uh -huh. might have told, sometimes he tells it. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Well, anyway, we didn't keep y'all thirty minutes, so we better just yeah, let y'all go. We was just talking about. Stuff. people and stuff and mm -hmm. stuff. gen x parenting and gen x growing up a gen x yeah i'm, I'm proud to be a gen x i am proud to be we a gen made x. it we never yep. wore a helmet on our bicycles or nothing nope no knee pads no helmets mm -mm. jumped off of buildings and did just stuff we shouldn't be doing dug in the mud sneaking out of the house eating dirt smoking mm -hmm. cigarettes i never snuck out of the house I never got the chance to do that. Well, I mean, they saw me leave, but they didn't. I lied about where I was going. I may have done that. I told them I was I going to church and I was going off doing things I shouldn't be doing. Okay. As long as you said you was going to church, you was good. Mm. Oh, well, I should have tried that. You should have. <laughs> I was slow. <laughs> you should have called me. <laughs> I was slow on the uptake. <laughs> You should have said, hey, how do I get out of the house? No, your parents would, they would let you out more than mine would. Maybe they would. They would. They would. I had to be home early, though. Well, I think nine, nine, it started out, and then I was like, we can't do this. Well, yeah. I mean, you can't get into nothing until nine o'clock. Yeah, everybody just starts hanging out between right. eight and nine. Right. And then when you get a little older, it's nine and ten, and then you get a little older, it's eleven and twelve. So, mine was ten. But I would come home at 11, and they kind of knew not to say nothing. Oh, God, if I was five minutes late, I was grounded. Well, mine grounded. just never, They'd just be like, don't you do that no more, and I'd do it the next weekend. And they'd be like, don't you do that no more. Golly, I wish mine would have done that. I'd have probably <laughs> stayed home a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, them was the days, though. You turn that off. I'm tired of talking to these daggone people. <laughs> they love they love seeing you and your crazy laugh and your <laughs> and my hair going. Your hair going. The wind's blowing out here. Okay. All right. This is just a bunch of nonsense we talking about and good mm -hmm. stuff and mm -hmm. crazy stuff and 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 bless y'all and thank y'all for uh, watching. Bye.